I can't think of anything that gets people more stressed out about cheese than the idea of pairing. Here's what I think about when I'm trying to imagine a perfect pairing with cheese. First, balance. Usually this means putting opposites together like a sweet food with a salty, intense blue cheese. Number two is texture, a highly underrated element of pairing. Gooey, creamy, slippery cheeses need some crunch and hard, crystally cheeses can be topped with something sticky or drippy. And number three for me is sugar, acid, heat. Cheese is all fat and protein, so I look to sweet, spicy, or acidic things to cut through the richness. Ultimately though, if you like it, it's a good pairing. So we're back with more white rindless cheese that looks just like the last group of white rindless cheeses we were pairing with, except for this guy. So what's going on? Are we just like repeating? It was so much fun the first time. <laughs> these young cheeses, these fresh cheeses, they're a little bit different. They're gonna be saltier. Yeah. They're gonna have a little bit more flavor and you're gonna see a little bit different milk types too. And this, okay. what, what it's done with a lot of goat cheeses, people are really enjoying a lot of different flavors. Mm. So goat cheese can be rolled with herbs or dried fruits, okay. even mixed in with honey. This right here is gonna be a little bit of a, a cranberry goat log. Or even a blueberry goat log. Or even a blueberry goat log. Blueberry goat log. I went a little more kind of classically inspired mm -hmm. the last round. I think I like that approach. So I'm going to, I have some stuff I pulled. Do you have I've got some, some stuff, stuff okay, where the last round I went a little crazy. Not so crazy this time. Medium crazy. Medium crazy. So when I think of feta, I mm -hmm. think of Greek salad, which is big chunks of feta, black Kalamata olives, red onion, big strong flavors. So an obvious go-to with feta would be just a plain Kalamata olive. But I'm kind of inspired by your okra pairing. So I'm gonna try a pickled veg with wow. my feta because that sort of reminds me of a lot of those savory flavors you'd mm -hmm. find in Greek salad. This is a pickled green bean, but it's also highly spiced. This is really different from your pairing though because the cheese is so much saltier. This is pretty salty. And together, it's like salt on salt. Do you find it to be too too much? For my palate, just a little bit too much. Here, grab an olive. See if that works better. I think you're right. Because this has the brininess, but it is not as intensely salty. I think that works a little bit better. You're like over here in, I don't know what this is, like cheesecake land. Well, that's basically what it is. So with this, you, you kind of already have the pairing rolled around it with the uh, blueberries. So really what I want here is a crunch. Yeah. This is soft, you know, you've got the, the dried fruit. So I'm gonna, a little bit out on the limb here, and I'm going with like a toasted sesame flatbread. That's not that great. Why? What makes a bad pairing? <laughs> bad pairings no. are really helpful. I mean, you learn a lot from a bad pairing. It's the toasted sesame. Is it Toasted just sesame seeds, they're not really calling out for something sweet. The crunch, really help break something up but yeah that's a that's a savory sweet that really missed the mark mm -hmm. i wouldn't suggest this one i yeah, brought a backup just in case the cheese is really it's really desserty. sweet it's really sweet and desserty so i'm going to match it up with a little bit of a cranberry crisp oh cool so this is a little bit sweet as well so i think the sweet and sweet like with like much better oh, yeah i've also got goat cheese here tangy spreadable. I feel like you want something crunchy. I'm going to sort of go in that sweet direction. This is like a wafer cracker, very thin, very delicate, and then some fig jam. And I guess you could do honey here. I like the fig jam because it's kind of sweet, but not as cloying as honey. And I think you could also do this really well just by putting the goat cheese on a dried fig, mm -hmm. but you need something. You need a vehicle for the cheese. I think that's great. It does add a little bit of sweetness to it because you got a little acidity mm -hmm. going with the goat cheese. And also, I like the way you didn't slather so much spread on it. You just added a little bit of the uh, fig spread. Yeah. Which kind of, it goes a long way. Yeah, it's pretty concentrated. You could have that for breakfast. That would be really good on toast. Absolutely. This is a weird one. This, now this one is typically going to be grilled. This is actually halloumi. Yes, it's very weird. You put it on a grill and it doesn't lose its shape. It doesn't melt. It is intensely salty. It is an awesome burger alternative Absolutely. for your vegetarian friends or even your meat-eating friends. I'm going to pair it up right now with a little bit of honey. 
So I'm gonna go with opposites attract, salty sweet. Yeah, and again, unlike a lot of the other fresh cheeses that we've been tasting, mm -hmm. where you kind of need a vehicle for the cheese, this cheese holds its shape when you cook it. I actually really love that. Really? Yeah, even with the texture, because I have honeycomb. A lot of times you'll see that around a cheese shop and it looks really pretty and people want to put it on a board. Don't be afraid of it. It's actually really good and the- um, And you can eat the wax? You can eat the wax. And the wax kind of adds a little bit to the texture as well. That's really good. This takes it from being almost, almost too salty to being something that you can just continue to eat. Like the Absolutely. whole piece, no problem. So on the whole, these aren't radically different from the last group of fresh cheeses. Even though those were milder and less salty and these are more intense, the same basic principles are working here. Like you can go savory or you can go sweet. There's no rules. It's really just what you like. Except we're trying to give people rules. <laughs> Except for the rules. 